Hi, my name's John. Welcome to part four in a series of short videos all about this Artec 260 inverter TIG welder. I've had the welder for a few years now and I've basically got some settings stored in there that I know will work. In this episode, I'm going to weld thin stainless steel. I've got a, a job come in, so I'm going to show you the torch setup and the machine setup I use for thin stainless. Not to show you how to weld, but to try and help you get the best out of the welding machine. Once I've done some basic stainless steel welding, I'm going to have a go at welding some razor blades. Um, it's not a gimmick, it is good practice uh, welding razor blades, and it also shows how good or bad the bottom end of any TIG weld that is. This is the torch I use up to about 120 amps on stainless steel and male steel. It's a CK torch supplied by Artec on a Superflex cable. It's also got a flexible head so you can bend at any position you want. I use a gas lens which means your stick out on your electrode can be really big. It can go out 30-40 mil but you do need to turn the volume of gas up. That's handy if I get into tight places where you couldn't get a normal cup set up in. The tungsten I use is a 2.4 lanthanated tungsten, a blue one. I use this for all my welding, unless I'm going to be higher amperage, then I'll go up with 3.4. I use a gas lens. This gas lens is supplied by Tigware. And I use a brass wedge tape collet, which I find much better than the copper ones. I have several different sizes of gas lens. There's also a Pyrex one there. That's sometimes handy when you can't see what you're doing, you can actually look through the, through the Pyrex. These are once again supplied by Tigway through Wartec. Sharpening the tungsten is very important uh, for welding stainless steel. You need a really sharp, fine point. I'll show you how I sharpen the tungsten and prepare it ready for welding. I've got a little homemade grinder here, but it, it does the job. Right, so we've got a nice sharp point, then I polish it because you want the arc to go straight off the tip, you don't want any arc wander. A little bit of fine emery tape. does make a massive difference having a really sharp ground tungsten. The camera will focus on that. We'll carry on using the same gas lens because I like it. It, it, it just works, it does the job, I use it all the time. Also it's not pure ceramic so it's quite robust, it can be a little bit rough with it stick out for the job I'm going to do, I've probably got a good 20 mil and that'll give us good vision into what I'm going to be welding. This is program one on this machine, it's a basic DC welding setup. So we're on DC, pedal and all the pulses is turned off. I've got no pre-flow because I'm using a pedal, start amps is as low as it'll go at 5, no upslope. Main welding amps, I've got it set at 80, 80 will be more than enough for the job I'm doing. It's exactly the same, everything as low as it'll go. In the end flow or a post flow, I've got 8 seconds. That helps keep the weld clean and also helps to cool the tungsten. This is the job I've got to do, it's a stainless washer in some thin old stainless tube and you want some welding together. I'm not quite, quite sure what they're for, but I've got 20 to do, and all he wants is a nice little weld. One there, one there, same on the other side. Nice, right, so they're welded on there. I'm not the best welder in the world, but it's not too bad. It's been a little bit hot, that's what the blue colour is. It should be a, a grey colour. That well there's what the right temperature, when it's blowing it out it's been a little bit too hot. 
I'm going to set another one up and I'm going to use the pulse setting that I use on razor blades and see what sort of result I get with that. Right, we're now on pulse, DC, pedal, standard ESC, DC, pulse. This is what I use to weld razor blades, or at least I've found it works. We'll start off at the beginning as normal, no pre flow, no start lamps, no up slope. I've got my weld lamps set to 22. That's going to be on for 80% of the time, and the other 20%, it'll have 10% of that amperage. That's going to happen 500 times a second. I've got to turn right up. I find the higher the pulse rate, the tighter the weld bead becomes. Once again, back, 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 and I've got 10 seconds to let the tungsten cool off. on that well there, the arc was a lot tighter, there's been obviously less heat put in because that's the colour you're supposed to get, the golden straw colour, not a blue colour. See the difference on the heat input on the two wells. I made a little jig to hold these blades, what they call Stanley blades or box cutter blades. I'm just going to clean them with a little bit of acetone just to take any oil off them. It's done that, it's done that cut the world of good as well. Right through there, basically oil free now. Put them into this little jig just to hold them still. I don't know how thick these are, but I'm going to be welding on the very on the very edge of it. Right, so that's the setup. That's quite a nice little neat tight weld. Cool down now. We'll take it out. It's gone all the way through and the aluminium is acting like the trap the organ. So I'm quite pleased with that. That's probably the tenth one I've had a go at uh, to get settings right. And again, it's just the way I want it, but I'm very pleased indeed. I hope you enjoyed watching that video as much as I enjoyed making it. I really enjoyed welding razor blades together. I spent ages and wasted loads of gas, but it does show how good the bottom end of the welding set is. As usual, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you decide on any Artec product, mention my name, it certainly would do you any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching.